depend on them for much of our food supply, but in recent years, honeybees have been disappearing, and that's bad news for farmers and for all of us. The good news is there is a growing interest in beekeeping in and around Detroit with a lot of locals trying to do their part to save honeybees. Oh, there she is. Oh, you found her? Yes. All right. Right here. If that's the queen bee of this hive, well, this is the king bee pointing at her. Rich Wieske has been a beekeeper for 10 years. I'm very fond of bees. It's sort of how I, uh, um, this is my vacation. This is how I relax. But bees are more than a hobby for Rich. He's turned them into a career. Bees are probably the most beneficial thing to the, for the environment. Rich and his daughter kept bees together and harvested the honey, which he used to brew mead. His passion for it grew when his daughter was killed in an auto accident. I kept at it, kept at bee, keeping bees, and it was like my therapy. It's how I got through a very, very difficult time. What started as a hobby became a career and is now a full-blown cause. Are you saving the bees? I, I think, I hope so. Good, good. And I'm training a lot of other people to do the same thing. In the past decade, honeybees have been disappearing worldwide, with about 30% of all colonies collapsing. Colony collapse disorder. Um, they call it a disorder because they don't have a specific pathogen or disease, dis-ease. It's not, it's not uh, pesticides? Uh, well, see, I think there's a multiplicity of mm -hmm. contributing factors. So Rich is trying to do his part to keep there. colonies alive, even in urban settings like Detroit. Thank you very much. And he's enjoying a little side benefit to his ecological rescue mission. He sells his honey and pollen at local markets. That's where Carrie Smith met him and started her own love affair with bees. I love it. And in fact, we are getting more and more of our friends into it. Um, whether I'm doing the beekeeping or they actually want to do it themselves. Carrie is using bees to pass along an important lesson to her children. I don't want them to think that food comes from a fast food drive through um, It's important for the sustainability of our world. They might have a colony with 70,000 bees in it. Dr. Fred Dyer studies bees. From an agricultural and economic point of view, they are important partly from their value in producing honey, which for uh, most of human history was the only uh, common abundant source of sugar for, for human populations. Uh, but much more important than that is their value in pollinating plants. And it's the bee's role as a delicate cog in the big ecological machine that drives people like Zina Denovan to keep her own urban beehives. I think bees are sensitive, so in a way they're like a canary in the coal mine, so maybe they're demonstrating to us why, I mean, the fact that they're dying off uh, is demonstrating to us that we've that we're harming the earth. Bees are probably the most beneficial thing to the, for the environment. Unlike us, where we sort of keep taking from the environment. So, Rich Whiskey and others across Detroit are doing what they can to save the environment, one bee at a time. You know, it does have its benefits. So that right there, I can take a little taste of that, honey? Yep. That's good right there? Sure. Let's see. Oh, that is good. It was very good. If you're wondering if the beekeepers ever get stung, well, of course they do, but they blame themselves, not the bees. And, and don't keep your honey to yourself. <laughs> I, I do have a jar of it someplace. I might be able to share with you. I'll give All you a little right, honey. Give me a little honey. I'll give you a little honey. And I want to.